Breaking news today. Intelligence agencies in the United States, United Kingdom and Canada accused hackers believed to be part of Russian intelligence of trying to steal valuable private information about a coronavirus vaccine. U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he wants to do everything possible to keep peace for the people of India and China, according to his spokesperson. Americans have become increasingly divided on issues such as the reopening of schools and businesses and wearing face masks in public, hindering the fight against the virus. A warning for hazardous tsunami waves was issued briefly for coastal regions within 300 kilometers of war in Papua New Guinea's northeast, after a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the region, the U.S. Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said. Analysts and activists blame an increase in attacks on minorities on an indecisive Khan. They say he preaches a vision of a tolerant Pakistan where its religious minorities thrive as equals among an overwhelming Muslim majority. With the election less than four months away, Trump's focus is more on winning than on how he would govern. He's offered no substantive policy proposal, opting instead for heated rhetoric on race, crime and socialism. In Brazil experts blame denial of the virus deadly potential by President Jair Bolsonaro and lack of national coordination combined with scattershot responses by city and state governments, with some reopening earlier than health experts recommended. South Korean coronavirus superspreader religious group members from Shincheonji Daegu Church have decided to donate plasma to help the serious COVID-19 patients. The sculpture of protester Jen Reed was installed without the knowledge or consent of Bristol City Council and was removed by the council 24 hours later. U.S. Homeland Security Acting Secretary Chad Wolf announced Thursday that borders with Mexico and Canada would remain shut to most travel to stem to spread of the coronavirus for another month to August 20. 27 EU heads met face to face for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic plunged the bloc into its latest crisis. In China the central city of Wuhan and the provinces of Anhui, Jiangxi and Zhejiang declared red alerts as heavy rain swelled rivers and lakes. South Korea revoked the operation permits of two defector groups on Friday for sending anti-North Korea leaflets across the border, officials said, after Pyongyang furiously denounced their activities and blew up a liaison office. Australia's second biggest city of Melbourne reported a record rise of more than 400 new coronavirus cases on Friday despite a week-old lockdown of more than 5 million residents. Critics accused the government led by Borisov, who has dominated Bulgarian politics since 2009, of favoritism towards oligarchs in a country where politics and big business are inextricably linked. <laughs>